What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for today's video thanks to the team over at Robeson We're going to be checking out their Transformers Generation 1 High Performance Bumblebee Now for those of you that would like more information as to where you can pick one of these guys up for yourselves Then definitely be sure to head down to the links in the description box below But getting back to Bumblebee because as per tradition with all of these Robeson robots There is a lot to unpack here So in terms of what you get as soon as you crack this guy out the box There is one very accurately G1 sculpted version of Bumblebee based on his original 1980s appearance looking kind of sick for something which is a robot I mean this guy looks awesome especially stacked up alongside their elite edition Optimus Prime we also get one very accurately sculpted G1 blaster super nicely detailed if you pull back the ammo clip then bang you are greeted with a super vibrant LED and then finally we do get one USB type C cable which you're gonna want to stick in his back if he does decide to die on you now one of the biggest difference between this bumblebee and the previous elite edition Optimus Prime or the signature edition Rise of the Beast Prime is that he's under this kind of high performance umbrella which as far as I can tell is basically the most realistic movements that Robeson to date have so far been able to pull off and the evolution between the way this guy moves to the Elite Edition Optimus Prime is kind of freaky. I mean there are a few things this guy can do which I'm going to showcase in just a second which I think is probably likely to be the most realistic thing we're ever going to get to Bumblebee being in real life. It's kind of nuts but anyway to actually kickstart and power this guy up first of all you're going to want to turn around here to the back hold this power switch which is very nicely kind of hidden behind the back of the head hold it for around about five seconds the headlights in the feet and the eyes will very quickly illuminate and he'll almost instantly spring into action hiya friends bumblebee here Now, much like some of the previous Robeson robots, there are really two key main ways in how you can operate this guy. So one of those is voice commands. I'm going to go through a few of them, not all of them, just so you guys can get the gist. And yes, this guy still does breathe and kind of move on his own, which, as I mentioned in the Rise of the Beast review and even the original flagship review, it's just absolutely crazy because it really does help to kind of set these guys apart from just your regular robot. And to kind of go back to my earlier point, it does make you really think this guy is alive. Now, inside of him, I think there's something like 17 servo motors which again is kind of crazy and the way they've been disguised is awesome but one of the biggest recommendations that I can give to you guys in terms of a command to start off with would be this one so hey bumblebee how's it going max volume and pretty much here onwards you guys are good to go so let's demonstrate I'd say about three or four different voice commands so introduce yourself my name's bumblebee sting like a bee what can you do? All systems are go. And I mean, check this out. Look at the movement packed into those shoulders. That is so badass. Uh, having some uh, technical And is it just me, or is the voice very similar to the original voice actor in the original 90s, 80s series? So, yeah, super awesome. Now, this next command I want to demonstrate is kind of biased, I'd say, more towards an American accent because he doesn't really seem to want to respond to my British accent. So, for example, dance, bumblebee, dance. He doesn't want to do it, but the second I kind of put on my best Americanized accent, check this out, dance. There you go, look. Hey, let's bust the Damn, he is... Now that is really awesome. I think that is a prime example of just how realistic the movements in this guy are. And you can also command him to move forward. And the algorithm that this time around they've got packed into the leg movement is kind of crazy. I mean, way more realistic again when in comparison to what we saw from Optimus Prime. Let's see what happens if we decide to peg the blaster into his hand. So, Bumblebee. How's it going? Open fire. I mean, check out the way the shoulders and the elbows are moving. Kicking Decepticon ass. That is really awesome. So yeah, I think the dance movement and that command are by far my favorite in terms of voice command. Let's do one more. So Bumblebee, attack. I mean, look at that. That is so awesome, the way the kind of whole chest moves. Wow. 
yeah, the movements in the bot mode are badass. And then, for whatever reason, if you want this guy to pose, you know, maybe if you want to take a picture of him, then what you can do is basically just push the power button once, and this goes for even if he's in mid-action, he'll immediately stop and he will strike a pose. So as you guys can see, there you go, looking kind of dynamic. So that is basically the gist of all of the voice commands that you can get this guy performing. Let's sync him up with the app and truly see just exactly what this guy has in store for us. So, much like some of their previous Optimus Primes, there are really four main things that you can do within the app. So, first of all, there's Remote Control, then there's Action Download Center, which is really where I think you're going to see the true potential of this guy. There's also Mini Theater, which I believe is something new. It's basically where you can put this guy with the previously released Flagship Edition Optimus Prime, kind of pair them up with each other, and they'll simultaneously kind of reenact a battle sequence, which, don't you guys worry, I'll be sure to showcase later on. And then finally, there's Create, which is where you can kind of program Bumblebee yourself, much like I demonstrated in the Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime review, it's where you can almost puppeteer him to perform your own personal commands, which is kind of crazy. But let's first of all get stuck into remote control mode. So we do kind of get a D-pad where you can move Bumblebee forwards as well as backwards. You can also move him side to side, which is really awesome. And then there's also automatic standing, which I think is kind of freaky. It's basically if Bumblebee gets knocked over or for whatever reason he topples over, he will automatically stand himself up, which I thought was so badass. And we also get five kind of pre-built in commands. So you can get him doing a high kick which is really awesome. There's also another kick out to the side. And in terms of the balance on this guy, it's quite unreal. I mean, the first time I pulled off that command, instantly I thought he was going to fall over. But no, he did it no problemo. We also get a sad emoji. So let's see what that does. Oh, shucks. And then finally, there's this little clapping emoji. All systems are go. Which is where Bumblebee just decides to strike a pose. And that pretty much wraps up for remote control. So let's get stuck into the action download center. So let's do circuit fault because this is one of my personal favorites. For those of you who are unaware, this guy does not transform. And he is completely self-aware that he cannot transform. So yeah, this is pretty badass. So he tries to transform, fails in doing so. And then kind of malfunctions. Uh, bang! Falls flat oh, on his shucks. face. But check this out. He will get himself back up. So, yeah, that's really awesome. Let's do Disgusting Guy. Ugh, Megatron. That guy's the worst. I'm hoping that's a potential hint that maybe we could see a Megatron in the future. That'd be pretty cool. Let's do a mountain climb as I have a feeling that's very similar to one of my favorite actions that the flagship edition Optimus Prime could perform. And look at him go. Check out that knee movement. This guy is putting me to shame in how agile he is. I mean, that is so awesome. Really, really cool. And now let's do when in doubt. So, much like the voice commands, I'm now pretty certain you guys kind of get the gist of what he can perform when in the action download center. But before we wrap things up, I could not end this video off without showcasing to you guys Mini Theatre. So once you click on it, you are greeted with two different options, solo play and multiplay. Going to be honest, both are as badass as each other. But we're going to start off firstly with the solo play. And I'm just going to give you guys a pre-warning. One of the actions that he is about to perform is directly inspired by one of the Matrix movies. And the first time I ever saw him pull it off, I was in absolute disbelief that they were able to pull it off within an actual robot. So let's just get stuck straight into it. Here we go. Whoa, check that out. Deflection. Whoa! 
Oh, high kick. That is so awesome. Anything to protect my friends. So yeah, I mean, that is just so awesome. It's basically like a very short kind of movie packed into an action and the Matrix move, I don't think it's ever going to get old. That is definitely one of Roberson's most badass actions that we have ever seen on one of their Transformers products. But now we're going to get stuck into a multiplay. Now this is where you're going to want to whack out your flagship slash Elite Edition Optimus Prime because much like solo play, you can quite literally kind of have this entire scene playing out before your eyes with both Optimus Prime and B kind of talking back and forth between each other and like I said previously probably the closest we're ever going to get to seeing these two characters in real life so let's see what they've got in store for us Decepticons detected activating scanners for scout mode the Decepticons are attacking prepare for battle Autobots engage the enemy ha, I was born that already okie dokie And so that was my review for the Roberson Transformers Generation 1 High Performance Bumblebee. Overall, I think this guy's banging. I mean, in terms of a Roberson, I'm going to be honest, guys, I think this may just be their best one to date. And I know it doesn't transform, but at least in terms of my own personal experience, I've had way more fun messing around with this guy when in comparison to Optimus. Because especially within the app, you know, the mini theater, the solo play, or when you actually pack in with Optimus Prime, it's just incredible. I mean, you're quite literally seeing these characters come to life before your eyes interacting with each other pulling off some of the most insane moves that i've ever seen from a robot especially when bumblebee kind of reenacts that classic matrix almost half backflip it's just crazy i never in a million years thought it would be at a point where a bumblebee would literally be able to pull that off right in front of you so yeah just crazy the movements are definitely way more refined on this guy especially in terms of the walk cycle and the way the arms move i mean even when this guy is firing away at the decepticons the elbow movement is just so realistic and the way you can kind of interact with this guy, personally, again, I think is slightly better when in comparison to their previous Optimus Prime. So, yeah, in terms of my own personal recommendation, if you're a fan of Roberson, you've held out on all of their previous releases, then I think it may be the perfect time to look into picking one of these up because Bumblebee definitely is more than meets the eye. So, all that being said, again, I want to give a massive thank you to Roberson for sending this here my way for a video review. I'd love to get your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you guys think of this Roberson Bumblebee? And until my next video, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.